Hello, Cancer. We have a connection here where someone chose the karmic over a soulmate. And now that karmic relationship is getting burdensome. But there's a chance to turn this entire thing around and to even hit the jackpot. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Cancer Tarot reading. It is a general reading for May 16th through the 22nd. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys for next week. Okay, a lot of shuffling for this one, okay. And a weird cut to boot. Nice. Lady Luck, number 41. Reduces to a five number of change. Okay. Let's see what she's bringing in today. It says, Lady Luck is on your side. A change of fortune is in store for you. A twist of fate that is meant to be. You're a winner, baby. You're about to hit the jackpot. So when she appears, this is like you're being given like the golden ticket, you know, a lucky break. Okay. That otherwise isn't any kind of uh, normal or usual. Let's see what energy is going to complement this lady luck. About to hit the jackpot. Hmm. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yes, full moon in Capricorn. Well, that's a sigh of relief for somebody. Let's see what's going on with cancer next week. There's this feeling of, I never thought this would end like needing it to like something really troubling and burdensome that went on forever. And the, Oh, thank God. It, when it's over. Yeesh. King of pentacles, seven of pentacles, two of cups, 10 of cups. Hmm. Could be a marriage, could simply be with an earth sign. Let's see what's going on with cancer. That's so tough. That's finally coming to an end. Okay. Let's dig in. And there he is. He's still there on the bottom. King of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. I told you something burdensome. Ace of Swords, the Hanged Man, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Strength, Card of Leo, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's been the not choosing to move on from this for a while. Could be because of kids, but... It, that doesn't feel like like the top three reasons. It doesn't feel like it revolves around children. Okay, Cancer, I'm going to read this side as you. This side is your person, and this is the situation. The cycle is ending. The burden is being put down. It's kind of like there's truth that comes out about this connection that throws this person for a loop. Like you could actually voice that you're not happy. Okay, they could try to reignite things with passion, with, with sex. But I see you gathering the courage to abandon this connection, to exit, and it changes everything for this person. The 
this person has tried to hold on from this happening for a while. Okay. It's like, no, wait, we could do this. And no, wait, couples therapy. No, wait, we, a retreat. No, wait. And you're like, no, done. Let's expand on this Ten of Wands in the situation, please. And you did go the full cycle. Ace of Wands to Ten of Wands. All the wands in between. You went through the entire cycle with the person. Whew. So actually the Lady Luck was created with the truth. That was, that was, yeah, nice. Creating your own luck, I highly recommend. All right, Ten of Wands. That sucker flipped right over. Eight of Swords. Oh, okay. The Star, Card of Aquarius. Okay. Four of Wands, Knight of Wands. Six of Cups. Four of Swords, Knight of Swords, Two of Cups. Yeah, this is done, done. Okay. Okay. Why did not, why did someone not want to see the little bit of destiny that's here? Someone in this connection was too immature to put on a brave face and do the work necessary to heal the connection. I mean, this looks like it was a legit two of cups. Or someone turned their back on a two of cups, six of cups soul contract in order to stay in this. We're going to know as we flesh this out a bit more. Because he's looking this way and the soul connection is that way. Hmm. There's an immaturity here that it, it can't be dismissed. Something, something here was handled poorly. Okay, let's let's keep going. Oh, that is it. Someone did turn their back on a soul connection and decided to stay in this instead. And as they stayed in this, it became more uncomfortable. Hence the Ten of Wands. Okay. So it looks like, Cancer, you have a truth here that's, you are singing like a canary. <laughs> Let's expand on this Ace of Swords, please. Six of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yep, terrified. Yep, lost it. Lost the connection. <sighs> Terrified, worn out, need to move on, can't do this anymore. Exhausted, worn out, can't do this anymore. Five of Pentacles, let's expand on the Five of Pentacles, please. Oh, not the whole thing. Let's 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 be a little more oop, concise. <laughs> Three of Wands. Emperor, card of Aries. Four of Pentacles. Could have held out on a younger Earth sign. Could it could have either that or was such a slow as molasses sort of pace that nothing could actually come to fruition. Okay, but we have the strength card here, card of Leo. Let's expand on that and see where we go. The world. Page of Swords. Judgment. Three of Cups. 
Desire to reconnect with a lover. Big on the Taurus. Uh, straight out Earth signs here. We've got Virgo Tor and Virgo and Taurus and Gemini here. Wanting this win. Wanting this reconnection. Okay, with this Earth sign. Strength world. The courage to see something through to the through the end. Okay. And the choice to reconnect. Three of Cups with someone that is identified as a lover. A lot of passion here. Okay. Let's clarify their side. So there's at least three people here. <laughs> Start with the hangman, please, and expand on that. Okay. Yep. Four of Pentacles, High Priestess. Ten of Wands. They know you're going to walk, no matter what they do. As much as they try to hold on to this connection with you, they know you're going. They know you're done. One more for the Five of Swords. Yep, been trying to push it off. Hangman again. Been trying to push this off. Trying to push off this ending as much as humanly possible, but they know you're done. Pisces energy with the High Priestess. Ace of Wands. Let's. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're going they're still going to try to reignite this thing cuz you can't see just how much it's in in secret they're terrified that this is over. They're totally terrified. Anything else? Yeah, they don't they don't want to see this. They don't want to see that it's over. Two of Swords world literally don't want to see that it's over. Wheel of Fortune. Let's expand on the Wheel of Fortune, please. Hermit, card of Virgo, five of cups. They see that they've lost, they, they're sad they lost their position and they lost their position to an empress. You're showing up as the emperor here. This is who you want to be with, this empress over here. But other people were allowed to get in the way. You allowed other people to get in the way of your choice. Okay. Yeah. Seems to be a theme lately. Okay. Is there anything else I need to expand on before going to the extended? Let's get a peek at this two of cups, six of cups, this empress. What did the connection with the empress look like for cancer? What happened before it disconnected? Okay. What happened before the connection with the Empress disconnected? Because we're going to look into her life from the present through the future. So let's see what happened. What happened with the Empress connection before it disconnected? Okay. It was beautiful. It was everything, and then it ended, and it was lost. Ouch. Lovers on the bottom, too. Wow. Empress, Star, Three of Cups, Six of Cups, The World. Then there's the loss, the abandonment and the loss. It was because it was not chosen. It wasn't chosen. Yeah. Anything else about this, Empress? We need to know before going on to the extended, please. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Strength, Three of Pentacles. You are terrified to reach out to this person. It's going to be a secret. You're not going to tell anybody you're doing this. 
You're not going to tell a soul <laughs> that you're even thinking about reaching out to this empress. Okay. So I'm going to head over to the extended because there's a jackpot in store and it's on, it's on tandem, working in tandem with this Ace of Swords, this truth that you have voiced that is ending this connection here. So we're not going to look into this connection further. I'm going to go to the extended to check in on your Empress. I'm going to see what's happening with her right now. I'm going to see what's happening with her in the near future, as well as the final outcome of this connection in this lifetime with you. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about this connection at this point in time, messages from your Empress about this connection at this point in time, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.